Hello, my name is Anne, and today I'm going to give you my full experience after two weeks uh, with iOS 11 on my iPad Mini 2. So this is the oldest device along with the iPhone 5S and the iPad Air to receive iOS 11. So I want to give you my full experience after over, over two weeks of using. And I want to show you the iOS version that we are rocking. And as you can see that I'm running iOS 11.1. Now this is the beta version. Uh, this is not iOS 11.0.1 or 11.0.2. This is iOS 11.1. So this is uh, not the public version. This is the beta version. Uh, I want to give you my full experience. So uh, this is actually going to be the most demanding uh, video because uh, this is the oldest device. This is the uh, device released back in 2013 so uh, you got you will uh, most likely ask about uh, how iOS 11 will uh, the iPad mini 2 handles so here's uh, what you're going to see so uh, first of all let's take a look uh, briefly at the new exp uh, the new features at iOS 11 so uh, this new dock right you can see the new dock it's now like the uh, Mac OS style right we have the uh, apps here for your favorite apps and three apps over here for the most recent apps and you can actually enable and disable them in the settings and you can swipe up from the bottom to get to the app switcher and the control center at the same time which is handy um, and also there is a new notification center so the new notification center looks a lot like the lock screen as you know that the new widget page and the camera which is also here as well uh, okay and uh, overall there's nothing really much changed uh, except from the dock and we also have the new app store so the app store much refined much changed since uh, 2008 right has uh, got a major redesign also I really like that as well um, other than that uh, everything feels just the same uh, you know, and you feel the control center here, right? You can uh, change and to the touch, uh, like uh, gesture, uh, can do many things. And of course, you can change the uh, control center. So, by going here and customize control, you can add them and got a screen recording feature uh, as well. Now, let's, let's turn into the performance. Uh, the performance of the uh, iPad Mini 2 running iOS 11 was kind of a slower, yes, slower than iOS 10 uh, by a pretty large sum. Uh, the reason because of the blur effects that Apple has added to the uh, to the US itself, there are so many blur effects that I found in the system that kind of slow down the OS. For example, I go in here, the animation of smooth. Yeah, just look at the anim that lag. Even the animation, they look kind of choppy in a lot of ways. And with Fatal for Notification Center, it just feels a uh, one to second delay. It doesn't feel smooth as the newer devices. Of course, again, swipe up still takes a few seconds. It takes uh, less than a second. Uh, sorry. Um, again, like you, you tap and hold on the toggle. Uh, sometimes they smooth, but sometimes there are frame drops. Uh, there is something that I noticed in uh, iOS 11. Again, swiping on uh, home screen. Again, it still feels a bit of lagging. Uh, a little bit uh, difficulty in navigating through the OS somehow. Again, swiping on the public search, still a bit laggy. <coughs> Overall, I would uh, recommend you to stay on iOS 10. Or um, let's let's say try on uh, early earlier version of iOS 11. If you on uh, any older version of uh, the iPhone or the iPad, all right. Uh, but overall, the experience is okay. It's not like bad or something. Uh, there are more frame drops than uh, I have uh, ex experience, but overall, it's not too bad. Now let's turn to the battery life. Uh, this is something that. Uh, it's been reported to have killed uh, a lot of phones battery life uh, <coughs> um, and I was 11.0 uh, 
I haven't, I haven't tested on iOS 11.0.1 or 11.0.2, uh, but on iOS 11.1, uh, 11, 11.0, I'm sorry, uh, iOS 11.0, uh, the battery life was very terrible, was like, let's say a half of what I experienced when I was 10. Like when I was 10, uh, the average battery life that I, average usage, time that I recorded was around to 7 to 8 hours from 7 to 8 hours of on-screen time when I was 11.0 things have been a bit uh, worse it's on only 4 to 5 hours the most but on I was 11.0 11.1 things have improved a bit so this is my battery performance test let me bring the this one here now this is at 80%, this is iOS 11.1, okay, 11.1, and I have been using around 2 minutes and 38 minutes. Now this is not a moderate or heavy usage, this is light usage, because look at the what I have so using uh, YouTube, Candy Crush, Facebook, Twitter, that's what I use. Um, that's what that's only at 80%, only 2 hours and 38 minutes, so that's okay for a light usage uh, let's turn over it and I got 33% and right now I got 5 hours 56 minutes uh, which is uh, longer now I have to say it's long this uh, unexpectedly better now it was 11.0 again as you use this app for the most part so let's turn over to like let's say uh, 22% let's say 22% and the battery life has been 6 hours and 35 minutes so which means that this is uh, a much better than iOS 11.0 but it's still worse than iOS 10 which means that iOS 11.1's battery life is in the middle of iOS 10 and iOS 11.0 that's what I say um, overall I use a lot of apps, I navigate through the OS um, and uh, the performance is still, again, still a bit of things to be desired. That leaves a lot of things desired. Uh, but the battery life has gone uh, a lot better now. But it's still worse and it's still um, a, a few hours uh, behind iOS 10.3.3. So that is my full experience with uh, iOS 11.1 on the iPad mini. Uh, with on the display. Um, so I will uh, keep updating you on what's going to, uh, what the experience will be on iOS 11.2, 11.3 uh, as time goes by. And I will keep you updated as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you like, subscribe, and uh, uh, comment down below for more future video. And I'll see you next time. Uh, and anyway, uh, I've just reached 700 subscribers. Uh, thank you so much for this. Um, it was taking around two months for uh, uh, another hundred subscribers to uh, to gain. So um, that's really appreciable. Uh, thank you, thank you for watching, and thank you for all your support for the last three years. Um, so, without any further ado, goodbye.